This is a demonstration of the MedGen practice management software, also known as MedGen Billing. MedGen Billing is a web-based application that can be run from any computer that has internet with minimal installation. It is a complete practice management software and is fully integrated with our MedGen electronic medical records software. This demonstration is broken up into five parts which include claim entry, patient AR inquiry, claim rejection and review, payment posting and electronic EOBs, and billing reports. First, let's look at claim entry. Claims can be entered into the system in two ways. They can either be manually entered by a user or they can be transferred over from an electronic super bill from the electronic medical records system. First, let's look at manual entry. A user can go in and add a claim, specify a data service, search for the patient, verify any alerts and reminders, verify a patient's insurance uh, and eligibility in real time, add any additional information for the claim as far as referring providers, referral numbers, or an outside facility that the claim might have taken place at. If this is noted in the patient's demographics, it will automatically populate for the user. Then you have the main claim entry screen. You can enter a diagnosis code, and then enter a CPT code, and create the linkage. The system will automatically populate a fee, as well as add any patient copays during a claim entry. You can also specify whether the patient paid the copay at the time of visit. The system does have scrubbers built in so that if it sees any mistakes made during claim entry, it will warn you immediately to limit the amount of rejections. Claim entry is also keyboard driven, which means you can do the whole claim entry without even touching the mouse, which will speed up the whole process and make manual claim entry go very quickly. The alternative and the much more efficient way to do claim entry is to integrate it with our electronic medical records system. In the EMR software, a doctor can import his super bill into the system and during noting can actually select which CPT codes were done from a pick list and link them to their corresponding diagnosis codes. Once this is done, a user can then go into the billing system and process that electronic super bill and convert it into a billable claim. As you can see, the claim is automatically generated with the corresponding diagnosis codes, CPT codes, and fees. No additional work needs to be done, the claim just needs to be billed. This will greatly increase the productivity of the office and save a lot of time. If a copayment was collected at the time of visit, the user has the ability to print out a patient statement. At the end of the day, the user has the ability to review all the claims that were entered, check any work, as well as see totals as far as how much bills were charged, as well as how much payments were received. Once a user has checked over the claims, they can post their batch, which will enable the claims to be forwarded on to their insurance companies. The next section is the patient AR inquiry. From this screen, you can review a patient's account and view all past claims entered for the patient. The system will display all claims in summary mode by data service, but you can easily double click on the claim and view the specific details for that data service, including charges, payments, adjustments, and balance. It'll also timestamp who entered the claim and at what time it was entered. From this screen, you can also get an idea of the patient's aging balance as well as their insurance aging, view any past transactions on a specific claim, see payments received for this patient over the period of time, 
review the billing history of a claim to see when it was billed out to the insurance or to the patients, perform a real-time claim status check with our clearinghouse MDON, as well as review any claim rejections that might be entered into the system, which leads us to our third section. The third section is claim rejection and review. Here is where you can actually go in and review any claims that were rejected in the system and follow up and make sure that the claims get resubmitted and paid off. From the claim review, you can see any claims that might be pending and need to be worked on. The system will list all the rejections in the system, as well as which patient, which insurance company, and the reason for the actual rejection. From this screen, you then can double click on the claim and correct anything about that claim from one place. You can change a patient's policy number, date of birth, correct the diagnosis code, a charge, or even a procedure code. Once the claim has been corrected, you can rebill it, which will make sure that the claim gets sent out to the insurance company. Once the claim rejection has been corrected, you can change its status, which are customizable by the user, to let the system know that the claim has been taken care of and resubmitted to the insurance company. Timers can be associated with these statuses so that if a claim has been resubmitted for a certain period of time, say for 30 days, the system will automatically flip it to a new status. For example, a check status, meaning the claim was resubmitted and has been idle for 30 days and needs additional follow-up because the claim has, is still pending. This will help ensure that claims that get close to timely filing deadlines get immediate attention and corrected and resubmitted and paid in full. When claim rejections are entered, you're also able to add additional follow-up actions related to that claim rejection to help keep track of what actions were done for that such as call the insurance company and give in a reference number. This is important when you try and review and see the history of what happened with that claim rejection because all the information is kept within the system for reference in the future. Claim rejection and follow-up is probably one of the most time-consuming jobs in a billing office and using this module can greatly increase productivity and workflow. Claim rejections can get entered into the system in multiple ways. A user can enter them, uh, they can be entered from rejections from our clearinghouse, as well as from the electronic auto posting, which leads us to our fourth section. Electronic EOBs can be automatically downloaded into the system for the user. Using electronic EOBs can make payment entry fast and efficient. A user can go into the EOB review, see any new EOBs that were downloaded into the system that haven't been posted, print out the EOB, review EOB details, which is similar to the Medicare Easy Print program, as well as post the EOB. When the EOB is posted, all payments will be dispersed out to the various claims, as well as any deductibles and coinsurances will automatically be calculated. If a secondary insurance is present, the system will automatically flip it to the secondary bill type and rebuild the claim. Or, if there's a deductible, it will forward on the balance to the patient and produce a patient statement that can be printed and mailed to the patient. Using the electronic EOBs, bulk checks that may have taken an hour to post can be done in a matter of seconds. The system also has the ability to manually post payments in case insurance does not participate with electronic EOBs or if it is a patient payment. Like claim entry, payment entry is keyboard driven and makes the payment process very quick you would specify a bulk check amount, the check date, if the payment was coming from an insurance or a patient, the method of payments, 
any check numbers or credit card numbers and then you would specify which patient the payment was going towards. Again, the claims are shown in summary mode by data service, but you can easily double click on a claim or hit a keyboard key and post that payment. Once you're done with that patient, you can go on to the next patient if the check is a bulk check that covers many patient claims. From payment entry, you can also do any write-offs, switch build types to, to bill a secondary, or specify deductibles or coinsurances. When you specify deductible or coinsurance, the system will automatically flip the bill type of the claim as well as add an, a comment to the claim to let the uh, patient know why they are receiving the bill. Once the payment is complete, you then have the ability to enter an additional payment. Similar to claim entry, the user has the ability to print out a summary of all the payments that they have posted for the day to get a total of the amount of payments and write-offs that they did. Once they are complete, they can post their batch, which will finalize all payments that were entered. The last major section is reporting. The MedGen Practice Management System has many reports that the user can print to pull information from the system. They include an AR report, which can give a basic summary of the charges, payments, and adjustments that were received over a period of time, a patient's aging report, which will show a patient's aging 30, 60, 90, 120 balance as well as insurances, a payment analysis report, which can give the user the ability to see payments and adjustments broken down by procedure code. From this, the user can get an idea of how much the doctor is being reimbursed by a specific CPT code. All the reports in the system have the ability to filter by insurance code, a provider code, or even a specific procedure or diagnosis code. Other reports include open claims, which can help you keep track of claims that haven't been paid off, claims that haven't been billed uh, that are getting close to a timely filing. Also, productivity reports, which are reports that can be used to keep track of how well a user on the system is performing with keeping track and on top of claim rejections and making sure claims that do get rejected are followed up on and balanced out to zero. There are many other reports built into the system that can help with the day-to-day -day activities with billing, such as a patient's arrived without charges report, which will help keep track of all patients who were marked as arrived on the scheduler and yet no charge was entered into the system. The billing system also has a custom report writer, which basically the user then can create their own report on the fly and pull uh, various information from the system. This concludes the demonstration of the MedGen practice management software. For additional questions, do not hesitate to contact the MedGen support staff at Comtron. Thank you.